life pod and life boat. Would you rather be stuck in a life pod or a life boat? I've checked out both options and I'll let you know which is the better option right after the theme song. Kyle's Reviews Kyle's Reviews So, Life Pod is another one of these movies from the four sci-fi four-pack set. And I was about halfway through it and I looked it up and I was like, oh no, it's a TV movie. Generally, I have this policy. I don't review TV movies. I know it's arbitrary, but I'm the one making the rules. So I can either just throw it away, just watch it for no reason at all, or I could try to do something with it. So it's a remake of Hitchcock's Lifeboat. So I decided I'm going to watch that one too. So instead of watching one movie, for no reason at all, I'm watching two. I'm doubling my work. Because, you know, heaven forbid, I just changed the rules I made up myself. So, both of them are basically the same, which makes sense since Life Pod's a remake. Lifeboat, World War II, a boat gets sunk in the Atlantic. There are survivors. One of them is a German. Thank you, sir. And they're like, oh, should we just kill the German because our boat got sunk by the Germans? Eh, or should we, you know, all in this together? There's bike stab, backstabbing, uh, worried about rations. Live pod's the same thing, only it's not a world war and it's in space. So, the Wikipedia article on Life Pod says their movie is more of an homage than a remake, but there's a lot of similarities between the characters. So not only the storyline, but the characters. So both movies have a female journalist as sort of the main character. The original is a newspaper journalist, and she's kind of seen as kind of flighty. Like she has her typewriter on the lifeboat with her, and they, <laughs> they're like throwing her aboard, and she's like, oh, I can't believe you threw my typewriter overboard. Uh, but in the life pod, she has a video camera, and it's a little camcorder. And they don't make it, you know, it's not that big of a deal. The both of them have a military guy that gets injured. Somebody help me! <laughs> both of them have a woman with a baby. They put her baby in hyperspace for the trip. Both of them have a younger woman with a medical training. Both of them have a rich guy. So the original does have a German soldier. There's nothing really like that in the remake. The original also has one black character who was kind of like a porter. And the Wikipedia article says that Steinbeck wrote the screenplay, but he wanted his name taken off because he thought that the character, the black character, was made too stereotypical. And he's barely in it, actually. So I don't know what happened with that he has three like three or four lines and the sci-fi one they made the hurt soldier black and they replaced the porter with a little person and it's really weird what they do so they give the little person in life pod a, a, a robotic arm and they at one point they kind of implied that to sign on that he had to agree to have his arm replaced and his name is Q3. And I, it's really weird the way they do it. And the remake also has a blind guy. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I don't think there's any real analog to that character. Maybe he's kind of, uh, if we're keeping the numbers same, replacing the German. In the original... Because they do capture a German, and he, they're, they're, he like he should he's like we should go this way, and the, the uh, people that speak English are like I don't know if we should trust him or not. There's not really any of that in the uh, Life Pod. The remake focuses more on things going wrong. In in the original, it's more like are we going the right direction? Do we have enough food and water? Is someone hoarding food and water? The remake is things start going bad. You know, uh, the 
there's a pilot on the life pod. And it's like, okay, we can't get to the pilot. So is that sabotage or an accident? And in both of them, a couple of people die, but there's more death in the life pod. And so there's more of a question of, is it natural causes or is it murder? You sure she killed herself? If you have something to share with the rest of the group, let's hear it. I found this in her throat. So, which is better? Well, Lifeboat goes a lot more into character development. And it's also got the drama of World War II, which is easy to understand. They're German. We're on the Allied side. Life Pod has more excitement, but because it's not, they don't, I, I, at least it wasn't clear to me, they don't even really make up like a space war against aliens or something. So it's a little more muddled. And, but there is more excitement with the things going wrong. It's like, oh no, this thing's gonna, the, the oxygen supply is running out. Can we survive? And there's more of a mystery on the boat, the Life Pod of who's killing people off. Live pod. I mean, it's Hitchcock. So it's it's a classic. Kind of slow. There's a lot of talking. But you got to give it credit for, you know, he filmed the, the setting as a boat. They don't do really any cut flashbacks or cutaways or anything. So I'm giving Life Boat four thumbs up and Life Pod two thumbs up. Who wore it better? Neither one is terrible. Just pick one, okay? And pick a thumbs up button. And pick the subscribe button.